the sip. Oh, cracked open a cold one. Uh, cracked open a cold. I don't think your mic's on, baby. Go ahead and flick on the on switch. Unbelievable. There you go, Unbelievable. sugar. Unbelievable. I see how this is. Um, Someone's a little bitch. Bethany. Bethany. And Sean. And Sean. We are a couple of nuts. Talking. I set everything up. You at least you could do is just flick the on. Um, button. I would like to say that I was in the other room cleaning the cat fountain, making our amazing immunity drink that we drink every day so that we don't get sick and we're powerful human beings. So, you know, we can go tip for tap, but then I win all of it. That's false. That is false. What's up, nuts? We're back. A couple of nuts. Talking. Are you gonna say we're back every episode? I meant like we're yeah. Oh, like we're back from the last like, episode. Yeah, not like okay, we're okay, back okay. from honey. That Hiatus. Like a month and a half ago, we've been back. For, uh, I know, but that's why I thought you were doing it. No, oh. like that's some stupid ass shit. No, 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 no. What you got for me, son? What? Is, first of all, what is up, nuts? Please follow us, ACON Podcast, on Instagram and on Facebook. Subscribe. Please like subscribe to the uh, uh, what is it Spotify I to I podcast is that what it's called I don't know you gotta get through this because okay, no one wants to okay, hear okay, this let's stuff. just go in there and give us reviews you know and uh, give us uh, reviews share it like it post that's, it that's really listen to it when when you're not on, even in the on, room just turn on, it on hold on hold on, hold on. let me talk to them for a second here okay can you just leave the room for a sec babe no that was the door closing no it's not I'm right hey, here hey no it's it's just your favorite nut of all Sean. Than you right now. I was just thinking to myself, if you shared our podcast with just one other person, that would make all the difference in the world. Kind of like a butterfly effect. Y'all like butterflies? I love butterflies. Share that shit, son. Okay, come on back in, babe. I've been here the whole time asleep. That was the door cracking, and now she's back. I'm going to crack you in half. See what I do live with? Everybody, violence. I live in a violent relation. I you am, wish. You I wish. You ask for married. it. I didn't you know this before. You literally ask. Before we were married, I didn't know she was violent. Then we get married. Now all of a sudden she's like crazy violence. By the way, I can do anything and he flinches. Anything. <gasps> See? Oh, I said anything. I'm not even near him and he flinched. Yeah. It's so annoying. Well, that's what happens when you grow, grow up being beaten. You know, because I didn't ask for this life. No, I you literally did. That. You got down on one knee and you asked for this life. With you, but I'm talking about being being raised, beaten to a pulp. Oh, God. Okay, I wasn't really beaten that bad. You know, I got swift kicks in the asshole. I got the wooden coat hanger a couple times and spankings, hit in the back of the head. Oh, yeah, I got spankings, back of the head. I got a belt. Oh, yeah. You know what the scariest thing Did is? I get the belt? When my dad would say, "Get up to your room," and he, and he'd be sitting on my bed, and I'd have to lay over him, and he'd give me the wax. Oh man! Yeah, that's not nice. No, it's not nice. That's not nice. But we forgive you. I feel like we forgive our fathers every episode of a couple of <laughs> nuts talking. <laughs> it's a something? couple of nuts talking about fathers. You know, jeez. I mean, what are we gonna do? Maybe this is processing for us. I think it is, and you're on the journey with us, nuts. Well, and I'm sure people can relate to it oh. in one way or another. Neighbor alert! Did you see that? Yeah, I did. She got she flinched because the bush she walked by skimmed her face. Well, maybe that's why the other neighbor attacks it. Maybe what it if, attacks them. Holy <gasps> shit! What if that bush is alive and we don't know it? He's not a meth head. He's a time traveling medieval warrior fighting bushes yeah live bushes by the way he just came out and he was all dressed in black and he's got some emos and he's gonna he doesn't know how to express it except through clothing he's super emotional obviously mm -hmm. and we see you sometimes we just see him leaning against the railing with his head down and he's holding his head and like nothing's going on <laughs> I mean, we don't know I his mean, life. There's probably a lot going on. No, of course. He's an addict, so there's chaos at all times. There's chaos everywhere. It does. Doesn't L.A. You know, when they keep talking about, like, 
like apocalypse is coming and civil war and all. I feel like we're in it. We're in it. California, not California, L.A. I feel like since its inception has been in this. Like everyone's walking around in some sort of war in their head, and they are m- making it appear as though like quantum physics projecting that shit out and everywhere you go whether you're driving on the road whether you're standing in line whether you're going to the grocery store like it's palpable it's palpable how in turmoil this city is and i do find that you and i what are you making that face for oh i'm just i'm letting you go honey what do you mean letting me go proceed continue oh you're calling this a rant no Cause you started it, I'm just saying. I'm just talking about oh, it. Oh, I was just having a little bit of fun, saying, "Man, there's chaos everywhere," and then you're but like, there is. "You know something? Since the inception of Los <laughs> Angeles, the city, let me tell you about the chaos and the quantum physics inside of their minds." Well, I mean, it is. It's like everyone's got this battle in their head: scarcity, not enough, gimme, gimme, I deserve entitlement. You know, I was sharing about that this morning. You know, I just want to let everybody in on something. Had a bit of a spiritual awakening this morning, bright and early. Yeah, and I was I was sharing, I was sharing about how content I am with you're, stuff that I have. You're welcome. And it's such a good feeling because I always wanted more, 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 me, 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 more, more, more. I want your attention, but I don't want to show you that I want your attention. So I'll give you a little silent scorn. And when you give me that attention, I don't really want that attention. That's the wheels inside this head, little lady. <laughs> so basically, you're doing what I said, where there's a battle in your head and you've lost yeah, either so way. I, so everybody, I feel like not everybody, you know, I don't know what everybody's going through, but, uh, you know, there is pure chaos happening at all times everywhere. It's not just L.A., baby. It's all over the world. Yeah, but then you go places and it's not like you land in Hawaii and you're like, wow. Oh, are you kidding me? I've been to Hawaii, honey. Those no, no, locals of course. hate us. No, of course there are pockets of other things, but I'm saying when when the masses feel a certain way, there is an energy in that city. Now, do I think that 100% of the people have it? No. D- but do I think majority rules? Yes. You, but you know what's interesting before we get sidetracked? What you just said, okay, you guys can't see me, but I'm going to walk to my other desk that I coach at, and I said something in a... Hold on, I'm going to grab it. We didn't have to do all this. You could have just said, hold on one <laughs> sec, and then went and grabbed it. And I know, but it's like... Now you're going to have to... It looks like we plan it, but stuff. we don't. You're going to okay. knock some stuff over. So look at what I said in, a, in one of my sessions. I wrote it down because I was like, damn, Bethany's going to go in your book. You have more today than you had before, and yet you still want more. Yeah, it kind of rhymes. I know. And I feel like that, I mean, that does is... R- it does rhyme. Yeah. It doesn't kind of rhyme. It does rhyme. And I feel like... Told you. It's... Okay, I don't care. No one knows, honey, but you. And now they're like, what What did you told you? But that's all that matters. And I remember when I said it, because I was like... Say it again. I said, you have more today than you had before, and yet you still want more. In other words, no matter what you get, it's never enough if you think you're not enough. And if you think there's a void that needs to be filled with things or whatever it is you think you want, the bottom line is, do you love yourself? I've seen, I've heard uh, things about this too, about how, you know, most people are, Thinking about the next thing. So, you know, you want to get that. You want to get that certain number in your bank account. You finally get to it. So you could get the house. So then you get the house. But you're thinking about what you got to get next. You got to get the upgrade on the house. Or you got to get the right car. You got to. It's just constantly the next thing. Instead of just being in the present moment. Yeah, what's interesting is. And I remember reading a book about it. And it's called The Artist's Brain. It's The Artist's Mind or Artist's Brain. Where when an artist creates and then needs to put it out in the world there's always something else that that will make them feel 
like whatever it is they want to feel. For instance, like if you take a musician, they're like, oh, I just want to get a band and I'll be happy. Good. Then they get a band. Well, I just want to be signed. Not if I get musician. signed, right? If I just get signed, I'll be happy. So then they get signed. Oh, if I was just making a million dollars. Okay. I make a million dollars. Oh, if I just had five platinum, right? Like it will never end. The artist's brain will never end. You're never finished because it's art. You know, my thought on that is I don't think about that. I think if I got the record deal, then I then I don't have to do it so much anymore. They could do all the work for me, and I could just do the creating stuff. That's where my mind goes. Not It wouldn't even be under the next thing. It would be like, ah, thank God I don't have to do all this work anymore. Right, but it doesn't really work like that because if you are a true artist you're never done like no 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 no. i'm talking about like the promoting the oh yeah this, the business the, side that, the uh, instagram the fucking bullshit like i'm talking about well no that but that's stuff. a practical way to think of it of course that's it yeah now most people who think i want to get signed are doing it so they can say i'm signed it's not about having less work oh, or the workload of course off, same same but there's also because there's a level of self-love. What happens in an artist's world or an artist's brain, but but it translates to everyone, just like how you explained it with business or having a house and marriage and all of that and the kids and thinking you have to have all these steps, is that as soon as you say, I'm not, I don't have enough. As soon as you say, like, I need more because where I'm at is not enough, the message to self is, you're not enough. Yeah. And that should never be the message. The message is, I am more than enough. Oh. I'm everything I need. And everything I deserve will come to me in the perfect way. And what I love about, like, for instance, this is crazy. But when people say, oh, I'm not really good at that. Or I need to improve my singing skills or I need to improve my gymnastics or I need to improve whatever you are basically telling yourself got any more p words you want to say I'm out there, not maybe? you're not good enough at patience oh they're okay there at go, swimming really. in a pool okay good good at pooping see this is what I'm talking about now I gotta edit all of this <laughs> you asked for it Bianch. oh my god you asked honey. for it anyways penis. can we get back to my spiritual awakening that but I that's had? what I'm talking about like it, it, it organically went into also making sure that we know we are enough and okay. we love ourselves okay good okay so I don't even remember where why I am was, I even here then where if I was every time spirit, my spiritual you had awakening. A spiritual awakening here's this morning the deal. here's no the that's deal. what you said here's the deal and it's it's, it's just for today but I hope it carries on to the future, but I, I get really upset when I'm in the car. Yeah, I do. And I don't like it when there's other people in the carpool lane that are doing the minimum speed limit. Okay? I don't like that. Because it's all the way to the left. It's all the way to the left. I don't like it when I see a single rider with an access OK sticker on their car in yeah. the carpool lane. I don't like that. I don't care about your stupid sticker. This is for two people only. And guess what? An infant does not count as a person. Actually, I take that back. Yes, it does. But I know what not, you mean. Not, not in, in, the in sense a car. Of the carpool lane. It's going. It's not going anywhere. Okay. It's going with you. And why is it that these access OK stickers are always going about sixty four to sixty six miles per hour? And I'm. Majority of them are Teslas. Yeah. And Priuses. And I, I love that I actually have a hybrid and I can't get one of those stickers. And then you see people who don't have them, but they have this fucking sticker stuck on their car. And you're like, that's not even Why anything. are you driving in that lane? If yeah. you want to just cruise, cruise on over to the right lanes. A couple, two lanes there with the trucks, you know? And when you get on a, behind a truck, you go around that truck. Anyways. You my were talking about your anger. Is, my point is. Yeah, not other people, babe. Not why you get angry. You're talking about your anger. After I had this spiritual awakening this morning, I got on the road and I went on, I got on the freeway. Man, I was in the zone. There was so much traffic. People cut me off left and right. Did you say cunting me off? Stop it. You did. You just accidentally said that. I did not. Oh. You're a pervert. There were people cunting me off See? left and right. Left and right, <laughs> but I was slowing it back a little bit, letting them go. They would seem <gasps> to be in a hurry. They I wish I was in, in the car because that's I all I ask of you. I know, and I, I, I'm assuming a lot of people were on their way to work or something like that. Because <laughs> you don't work on Thursdays. I just let it go, man. I let them just slide on in. I had some good tunes on, some good vibes. I had a nice hot cup of coffee. 
spiritually awoken. God was just working through me. My God, thank you. Thank you for the spiritual awakening. And that's today. I don't know what's going to happen when I get into the car in the next couple hours. I mean, maybe something's going to piss me off. I don't know. But I did have that moment, and I'm trying to hold on to that moment. And can I pray you do me that a favor real stays. quick? What? Can you do me a favor? Because when you get into this kind of space, you talk. Really, can you turn my headphones down? Because I can't with that voice. I can't turn your specific headphones down. Okay, because no. that's a lot. That was a lot of information, a lot of trouble. <laughs> It I is stop what it. Is. It, it is stop what it is, honey. Well, look. Here's what we'll do, because we're we're going obviously to drive uh, this weekend. So, and I will let you drive one of the ways. That's next per weekend. usual next weekend. And oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, you've already set your mind up. You didn't. Okay. Yes. They don't know what we're talking about. It doesn't matter what it, we're talking about. We're talking about driving in a car yeah. for over an hour. Yeah. And you, I will, will, will see this spiritual awakening and how much it's smeared onto that day. I don't need you to test me, man. I don't need I'm you. not testing you. I'm just seeing. She be fucking sitting here judging me, testing me. That just I'm not judging you. You made a statement, and I'm saying, let's check it out. You are my wife. You're very observant that's and lucky. It. That's it. I am. I know. I am very lucky. That's the first time you've ever said that. She is such a liar. No, oh because God. usually he just tells me all the time how lucky I am and all. And then he lists all the things That's he does. That's true. And we talked about that in another episode uh, because you are. I mean, okay. I could. No. Yeah. Oh, you know something? You know something? I'm just going to be humble about it. That's impossible. Done. I was even about to by go. you saying that you're going to be humble about it. I was going to list. I was going to go down that list. But you want to know something? God just tapped me on the shoulder. Doot, doot, doot. And you're like, I'll be get humble. back to that he, later. He said, "Be humble, my boy." And I said, "Okay." Yeah, but I can list all the stuff I do, but I never do that to you. Anyways, yeah. Access, but you know what will access happen? Access okay. Access not okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not okay. I don't even really get affected by the stick. I don't even look for oh, that shit. Oh, I do. I do. And I've even wanted to start a TikTok when we're driving on the road, road trips. I want to do videos of single riders without the stickers who are in the carpool lane. And put or them without blast. people, an extra person. Yeah, we see that all the time. I want to put them you know what blast. else? You, you know what does make me upset is when we're, we're driving and it is lots of traffic. So we, we get to use the carpool lane and we see the single rider and then a cop motorcycle guy will come by oh they don't do anything and r i was telling a story oh, but sorry. yes sorry. but you're like and both sean and i will be like yes oh get Finally this guy get him. get him get him and then he just like fucking he's looking in every car sees that they don't have anything going on yeah. and only one driver and they just roll on by and i'm like what are you good for and then i'll see that i'll see that single rider after the cop passes Go over the double lines to get out mm -hmm. of the carpool lane because it got a little spooked. Mm -hmm. Go over the double lines, which I'm guilty of. I'll admit it, you know, but mm. that's me. Yeah. Okay. And, I, and I'm not rocking this stupid little sticker. Who's got a little sticker? Remember we used to put stickers on? Did you ever put stickers on your binders and your folders oh, yeah. and your locker I and stuff like that? I had puffy stickers, smelly stickers. I love oh, stickers. Oh, the puffy stickers. There used to be. Oh, there is. Do you remember my base? I mean, I yeah. still have my base, but I mean, I started taking them off. Yeah. I mean, my, I have a vintage Yamaha and, um, I had covered it in hundreds of stupid stickers. Not all of them are stupid, but some of them. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God. And it Ruined took it. me, I feel like it took six months to get that yeah. goo off and all of them. I took it on tour and I didn't mm -hmm. want all those stickers on it. Yeah. My I first mean, car. I, I put a lot of stickers on it. I wanted everybody to know what bands I Who you were to. and what you liked. I had a corn sticker, System of a Down sticker, Deftone sticker. I had this Nine Inch Nails sticker at the top. I went to the mall to the one of those kiosks, and I got, there's this band called Deadsy, not as big as the other ones, but I had a big, that, that was the biggest sticker on my car. Big old Deadsy sticker, Dripping Blood, had that. Had a Radiohead sticker that someone stole. It was of that How bear, you, you know the it? bear? The, the, mm -hmm. From the kid A or I, mean, one of the, I don't know I put it on the car I go to work When I worked at Hot Topic At the Glendale Galleria And I came out And it was gone Yeah Yeah Someone scraped it off Someone scraped it off Wow they, Probably because you worked there They knew you were going to be there Every day or something I had an Incubus sticker I had This a sounds static, like every spiral See you know I had a Static X sticker Nice uh, All my spirals at school Had 
me on like the cover, I would do their logo. I would draw, you know, with like my good pen, all the logos of all the bands that I love. Oh yeah, that's what I. That's I was thinking about getting a ta- getting tattoos on my leg. I was looking at my thigh the other day. I was like, I should get some band logos tattooed on my leg. Bands no. that I love. Why not? Because no. Why not? Because specifically, I wanted corn. The scratchy old writing with the backwards R right there on my thigh. I don't know why I want that on my leg. And I think I'm going to do it. No. I think I'm going to do it. No, you're not. I'm going to do it. No. I'm getting a corn tattoo. There's so much stuff in tattoo ink that we're learning. Yeah. And they're just injecting that okay, in your skin. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do a whole episode on the poison that's in tattoo ink, honey. But we're not gonna do it today no we're not i'm just saying so i don't want you it's because i love you that i don't want you to do it a little controlling too but it is neither here it's not controlling because i say this and then if you go get it i'm still gonna love you so it's not controlling oh i love you too and we love you too nuts nuts Oh, well, I'm glad I got that out about the Access OK stickers because I've been wanting to mention that and get it out into the universe and let other people know how I feel about it because I know other people feel the same way. And I know other people feel the same way about those riders that are cruising in the fast lane, man. Yeah, do you remember the group of like motorcyclists too that came by recently when we were driving on yeah. the 101? And like yeah. they just kind of... They went really slow, yeah, sure and there's did. three of them, so they occupy the whole lane and then a little bit of the next lane, and Narcissists. you can't pass them. You can't. I mean, it's like crazy, stupid. Hey, if you're a, if you own a motorcycle and you're a motorcycle rider and you listen to us, you know we love you and thank you for listening to us. But why are you such a narcissist? Why are you not such so narcissistic? Why say? Why you say that? Motorcycle riders? I mean, I know why I'm saying, but elaborate for our audience. Oh, well, you know, you don't, I mean, well, eh, it's, it's, it's hard because, no, I don't want to, it's too dark, honey. I, I mean, I've known. You're a, the one who brought it up. I just want to, yeah, I, I I can't answer that question. That's why I'm asking it to the motorcycle driver. Do you want me driver. to say it? I know people that have died on motorcycles. So do I. Multiple I'm wondering people if there's died. anybody who doesn't have somebody they love. I, I mean, it's so prevalent. And if you bring it up, I feel like anyone you're talking to is like, yeah, I know a few. Yeah, I know someone. I mean. I get it because I kind of want a motorcycle point, sometimes. So I understand. But I'm not going to do it. No. Like, well, I do feel this. I'm probably people are going to be so angry at us. But, you know, I like to just say what I feel. When somebody is loved, which I don't think there are many people who aren't in this world, and you decide to do something that has a very high risk and like uh, there's there's no talking out of it or I'm safe or I'll be okay because it's not about you on the bike. It's about everybody else driving and how they don't see you. Right. Of course, we see the careless drivers on on motorcyclists, mo- motorcycles and you're like. Bitch, it's just a matter of time with you doing all your little things. We see it all the time. Yeah, we hope not, but we, right. it's coming. Right. Of course I don't hope it, but, like, that's just the name of the game. But then you see these people who, like, have families and have their whole lives, and they're just going out there on a motorcycle. I get it. It feels good. It's freedom. It's wind between, you know, in your hair, which, by the way, wind is actually not good for you because it... I won't get into it. Okay. But anyways, like, because, yeah, at a second, it could all be gone. And you don't, like, you have no choice. And then everyone back home who loves you is like, why did you do that? Yeah. And and also a lot of them just rev their engines and are real loud and they're they're jerks about it. (laughs) Yeah. And do you notice that no matter what they do, I don't care. Do you matter? Something fell on the ground and he had to say, I I told told you you so. so. Right. Okay. You have to understand we're on a podcast. No one can see it. I told you so. You have to stop doing that stuff. But anyways, now I lost my train of thought. That's okay because we should stop talking about people dying on motorcycles. If you ride a motorcycle out there. Keep on rocking in the free roll, man. Just stay the fuck out of my way, so <laughs> Right? <laughs> Am I right or what? Oh my What's God, with these motorcyclists, so huh? You know what I'm saying? Oh, 
Oh, I just got a cramp in my room. Good, that's what oh. you should. You should. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh my God. Wait, out. I want to say one more thing about motorcycles. Cyclists, when you see them on their like uh, low rider, not low riders, uh, fat what? boys. With yeah, yeah, with, yeah with when the they're like, I'm, such a, I'm a big boy. Look how big, big boy, boy I am. Look at the I'm big so big. Cool. Look, look at how my, tall I am. Look at my feces are straight up with the big old handlebar. Right. Bro, bro. We're, right now you can't see us, but our hands are above our heads. And our feet are like in a, like you're at a gynecologist. A little cradle. Yeah, yeah, a little. What are those things called? Um, Gratum. Not Gratums. Uh, uh, in the, the gynecologist office. In the uh, no, Jesus. The gyno, gyno. I know, but what straps? Are no feet, feet knockers. Oh, jeez, pedal soles, pedals. P- um, put your feet up in the. God damn. I, I don't know. The peas, honey, my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. I like to give you work to do. Oh, I like Jesus. to make you work, 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 work. Wow. Isn't it funny? Sometimes I think about like, why don't people listen to this? Because I, I don't know if people do, to be honest with you. Babe. That's true. You know, we had a few listeners back in the day when we started doing this. At this point, we went on hiatus. And this I think might they just did be too. for us. I mean, it always is for us. It's never not for us. All art is for you. If you make art, it is for you. I'm not gonna lie, nuts. We do listen to our own podcast in the car sometimes. <laughs> You know, that's a dirty little secret. Well, but I find that that is a good reason. And it's because every, yeah, every you need the, to be checking yourself and make sure you're a musician, that it's you interesting. Your recordings in the car to see how it's going to sound in the car, how the bass sounds, how the drums sound. Make sure it hits real hard. Yeah, make sure there's not lulls. Like just checking ourselves because we want to be better and keep getting better. And we hope season two is better than season one. It's not a season thing. It's well, just, you know what I mean? Like going. our hiatus back. It's just a back. continuous thing. Okay. Well, we hope this uh, groupings of podcasts yeah. just increasingly get better, it's which like I think they do. Episodes. We're into the dozens of episodes now. We've done real good. And uh, I'm pretty proud of us for continuing on with it. Me too. That's, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was tough. I asked every day and baby was like, nope. It's just you got to get in the zone, honey. And you gotta get in no. A you gotta make to yourself get in the zone. I'm more of a natural flow kind of guy, okay? and that's why everything we start, we stop. It's because you want to do a thousand things all at the same time. Let's not get into that. I'll do though. anything. Just pick one. Okay. And I'm in. All See? Right. Yeah. Did you hear that? If you guys didn't hear that, our heater just made a noise, and that's, oh, that's God that. clinking on there. They couldn't hear that. Anyways, nuts. I mean, that's uh. Is it another episode again? That's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much more to say on the things that we said today until the next things that we say. Isn't it funny? We don't even plan anything, guys. It just comes out. They don't need to know that. Oh. But I do sometimes get lost in my own voice, especially when I take it kind of down here. Honey, it's whether we're doing this or very, or out in the real world, you do. Very you just bassy, kind of sexy. Kinda <sighs> if you guys knew how many times I heard... How amazing his voice is and how hypnotic. And sometimes, this is the best. Baby, sometimes I pray and I hear my voice yeah. and I'm like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. Like, but that's actually not me. That's that's probably the big guy talking through me. Right. Hey, bro, I would imagine God's voice sounds something like this. Am I right? I think everyone has their own idea. Yours would be a little more squeaky. Not at all. No squeaks. It must be, though, because the voice in your head has to be squeaky, because the voice in your head probably sounds like you, right? My voice is not squeaky. You have a squeaky, cute little tiny, itty bitty <laughs> no, voice. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> Got a little tiny voice. No. Yeah, a little cute no, pie I voice. Don't. Little cute I don't. I have a strong voice. Okay. I have a strong, sultry voice. You have strong thoughts and strong... Uh, Convictions? Yeah. With a cutie With a pie. tiny, cu- teeny, cutie pie cutie voice. Cutie patootie voice. <laughs> Is that weird? Like, does it come off weird or less uh respected? I think we balance each other out very well. I think I got me with this and then you like this. And it's like a thing. I think it's a thing. It's a thing. Like, together we're making like a frequency that's healing. Yeah. You know, humming heals. I know. Let me heal you mm. real quick. Hold on. Uh, 
That's probably annoying, though, yeah, if they is. don't like that. We'll wrap it up there. We'll end it there. Nuts, Fun. A-C-O-N podcast on Instagram. A couple of nuts talking on Facebook. Please subscribe on Spotify and on iTunes and every other See, thing. I'm always worried. Just so you guys know, like, don't tune out. Don't end the thing because we always do something real cute at the end. I'm just letting you know. A lot of people will tune out, but there are them. We're not talking to them. We're talking to the people that are still here with us now. Thank right, because some people will just hit to the next episode. Yeah, that right healing vibe talking. was that was for you. That, that stuck was real. Around. If you're feeling yeah. a little sick or something like that, we send it out to you, and we thank you guys for listening. It was fun. Stay nutty, everybody. Bye for now. Kimpses. Kimpses. Baby said my line. Bethany. Bethany. And Sean. And Sean. We are a couple of nuts talking.